light has gone from red to green so we're good to go and when I go I go my pace is not like I'm walking my dear granny ukulele although in her day she could run like the wind but neither am I running like a quarterback going for a touchdown my pace is not a stroll but it is still fast this is because moving quickly will maximize the accuracy of your measurement with the mojo wall to give you an idea i can move about 30 to 40 feet 9 to 12 meters over normal ground before i have to place the device down within six to eight seconds now as we all know the world in which we work and live in is not all perfectly leveled or manicured ground and straight lines. We more often than not find ourselves on narrowly uneven ground going over rough, tough surfaces and will have obstacles in our way. The key here is to still move fast but not hesitate, dither, half, start, stop along the way. Before placing the device down you can still travel a fair distance within six to eight seconds depending on the space and then it takes but a moment for the point to be captured before I go again on to the next point and with regards placing the device down or when I come into touchdown I ease the brakes gently and not come to a screeching halt or a hard stop and crash land the device there we go I'm not saying you hand it like a, a family heirloom such as a fine bone china tea set but this is a precision electronic instrument and you wouldn't slam your smartphone into the ground and that's how I feel about Mosier. It's as cool and awesome as that. There will be times, for some it will be more often than not, that we find ourselves on uneven or rough terrain. And Mosier is great for these surfaces. In fact, it can really excel because Mosier can simply glide over these surfaces without needing to make contact till you need to capture a point. And at that point, depending on the terrain, your placement technique may vary. Like on tall grass, I like to ensure that I push down gently so that the device is not half grounded and half in the air. Mosier 1 is a motion based measuring device which means it is measuring while you move and will capture the point when it is motionless. So if the device is not grounded and is half flying it will think you're still measuring and actually when I place the device down I let the stick rest between my thumb and my index finger which for me, if you look, it ensures there's no movement while Mojo One does its thing. I don't want to grab it like really tight, like tight whitening the knuckles of my fist where when I set it down, it's only going to be as still as my, my nervous system sorry, allows. You can just chill, like me. Don't I look chill? There we go. It's actually captured the point, so no problem. This same technique is useful also when on soft leaves where you may need to push down ever so gently to ensure grounding when it comes to rocky terrain again i'm not going for a slam dunk when i place the device down but i place it down gently and it is worth taking the extra care where i place it i look out for uneven rocks or pebbles that may move beneath the Mosier chassis so to speak that will cause a wobble and lead to believe Mosier to believe that you're still in the measuring process. And remember, you don't have to use the stick. I would recommend in areas that are overgrown that you go handheld. That way, when you place Mosier 1 down, you know that it is not moving and will definitely capture the point. This is a new technology and a new smarter, better and faster way of measuring and I guess because it's new sometimes I get cut out like here in a wooded area all is going well then BAM I hit a branch 
the stick and mojo go swinging, overriding the gyros. But once bitten, twice shy. I won't be doing that again. When I stop to capture a point, I like to survey the path ahead of me and plan my route. And either I have an eye out for such obstacles like branches or whatever, or I go handheld. There's no right or wrong really. You'll be best placed to know which is the best for you after some practice. Sometimes, where the area I need to measure is pretty rough with lots of obstacles, I like to walk the site and plan my route, which, to be honest, is good practice on any site anyways. Also, I like to look out for overhanging foliage that may actually catch the stick and send it swinging. And also, I like to identify obstacles that I'll need to walk around so that I can identify points that I can place Mosier 1 down confidently and capture a measuring point. Along the way, there's also slopes that I need to be wary of for walking, but also how I place Mosier 1 down on that slope, allowing myself time to place the device down without it sliding. It helps that the stick has a flexi joint at the bottom to allow the incline to not be that much of an issue. Just a couple of points on how I hold the stick. As I move, I like to hold the stick lightly with my fingers towards the top of the stick. This prevents it swinging everywhere like a Jedi and overriding the gyros and also from slamming against my feet or overhanging foliage. And when I need to move from one point to the other, I also ensure that I do not rotate the device too quickly between measurement points. To maximize the measurement accuracy, I slowly rotate the device between the points if I need to, like this, as opposed to whipping it around over a short distance. This is going to override the gyros. And before I know it, I've captured another point. And I found after a little practice that I now get into a measurement rhythm where I move fast between the pause points, ease the brakes, gently place the device down, letting it rest between my thumb and my index finger and it is worth taking that little bit of extra care because before I know it, I'm finished with all the calculations, all the heavy lifting done and drawn out by Mosier. So in summary, to optimize your measurement accuracy, move quickly between pause points, placing the device down every six to eight seconds. Avoid collisions with areas of impact such as curbs, branches, etc. Place the device down gently and let the stick rest between your thumb and index finger. Hold the stick near the top to minimize tilting, swinging of the device and avoid sudden rotations of the device over short distances.